Bertrand Brousseau. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, sir. Mr. Brousseau, you have an uh, expired meter ticket on Angel Street. I paid that three times. <laughs> three times. And num number <laughs> let me just give you a little quick rundown. All right. My daughter works on top of the bookstore at Thayer Street. Yeah, okay. Right, third floor. So her office is up there. It was the day before her birthday. I went to drop something off to her. I, she was busy, I know that, so I just dropped it off. Took me 30 seconds, 30 seconds, to get down the stairs, up the stairs. But anyways. Um, you sure it wasn't 15 seconds? I, it was closer than that. I'm a handicap. But uh, anyways, the, uh, the meter had expired, and I had put eight quarters in the stupid thing, and it still didn't go anywhere. I put a sign on it, broken meter. <laughs> lady tagged me anyways. I went and found her. I was probably in, the, in that office 15 minutes. I said, you know, what is it? So, anyways, but they were chasing me, and I kept pay, paying 25, 25, 25, and never got caught up. I gave him 50 already. I think, <laughs> no, I think I got, gave him 75. So you gave him 50? No, I said, well, somebody. No, don't fight with the judge. All right, whatever you say, anyways, your honor. All right, I just, let, uh, me let me tell you what happened. You got the ticket, right? Yeah. And you paid it. Yeah. But when you paid it, 14 days had expired. Listen to me, 14 days. They give you 14 days to pay the ticket. Okay. If you don't pay it in 14 days, it doubles. So what happened was the ticket doubled because you didn't pay it in 14 days, so you paid $25. Right. Right. Then they sent you a notice saying you owe us another 25 because you paid that one late. Then you didn't pay that one for 14. Then you, you waited 14 days and you paid that one. So they took that 25 and they sent you another notice saying you paid the second 25, but you didn't do it within 14 right. days. It's worth so the Bank of America. You know what I mean? <laughs> you, you're going to pay 25 for the rest of your life every two, right. every two weeks. Exactly. All right, I'm going, to dis I'm going to dismiss the balance. All right, Not only that, I'm going to give you credit. I'm going to give you credit for the extra 25 that you paid. All right. Because you have a red light violation. There you go. This is on Smith and River. Right. Do you want to tell me anything about that? Yeah, I want to tell you about that. Uh, <laughs> I was on my it's way. It's your to daughter again, I can tell. Now, listen, I was on my way to uh, <laughs> say a prayer for you and for everybody to a St. Jude Novena up on, on uh, Chatham Street. You prayed for me? Yeah, of course. And uh, anyways, the, uh, I had bad news from my he's doctor. He's for me. He's got to go back. Do a little Listen, more. I had bad, bad news from my doctor. I was stopped at the red light, first of all, and I'm looking at it. I wasn't texting. I was just looking to see what, the, what I had to pick up and stuff. And then I, I see the lights green. So, so I... Put it down, and then all of a sudden it turned red. Boom. 52 years I wait my life to see you. <laughs> 52 years. You never had and a, I'm And I'm French. You never had a movie violation. Never, never. Except for that stupid parking ticket over there. I thought they were going to hang me for that. We're going to take a look at it, <laughs> Mr. Brousseau, okay? We're going to take... We're gonna oh, no, I definitely, I definitely went through it. Well, let me take a look at it. Uh, okay, if you want. But it's yellow, it's red. Boy, you were speeding. <laughs> wow, how fast was he going? 34? You were doing 34 miles an hour. Look at that. Maybe I did go through it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm arguing with you. Anyways. Wait a minute. You just said to me you were looking down. Well, I thought, yeah. <laughs> you went right through the light. St. St. Jude wasn't driving, right? No, St. Oh, Christopher, right. he jumped out of the car. He jumped out. He long saw you were driving. He jumped out. <laughs> Inspector Quinn, we have the we have the St. Jude defense today. Anyway. You, keep, you keep looking. I don't know. I'm gonna, now I can't even see my car. Anything else you want to tell me? No, just tell me how much. <laughs> <laughs> All my friends are Italian. They all grab my money. You know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> I'm it. Your Honor, you're doing a good job. And these, uh, the warm-up you have, this guy here, 
I don't know how come he gets paid, but to warm up, <laughs> warm us up, he's the warm up. Now you, now you're uh, buttering me up. Hey, you go. I want his job. <laughs> oh yeah. Now look at all the electricity. <laughs> no, it's my brother. Ah, that's why. Now you're, you're trying to take my brother's job. No, no. Why don't you get a haircut, though? <laughs> oh. You, you right. guys are tough on all these other people. Be the tough on me. The, Rest me. The parking ticket has been has been paid. I'm going to dismiss that. Okay. All right. The red light violation. It's your first one in 52 years. Yeah. You pay $25 extra for the uh, for the parking ticket. So I'm, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to charge you $35 court cost on the red light. Give you a $25 credit that you paid for the parking ticket, so it's going to cost you $10. For the whole thing. <laughs> 10 hey, You're wrong. give me the 10 Give me the 10 <laughs> out of your pocket. You said it'd be less than that. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> Even though Mr. Brousseau is French and Joe is Italian, they have one thing in common. They love to bust ball. Excuse me. Bus chops. Hey, Ego, I want his job. No, it's my brother. Ah, that's why. Now you're, you're trying to take my brother's job. No, no. Why don't you get a haircut, though? <laughs> oh, when's the last time you had a brain scan? He looks like a movie star. One that gets killed in the first yeah. act. <laughs> <laughs> they are definitely brothers from another mother. Mr. Brousseau, I have known Joe for over 20 years, and trust me, it will take more than a prayer to St. Jude to get the 10 bucks from him. It will take a miracle. See, I can bust ball. Excuse me. Chops, too. <laughs> Donna Morales. Good morning, Donna. Donna, your car was uh, towed. It was booted first and wasn't paid. As a result, it got towed. The car Correct. got towed last month? Yes. Why did it take you a month to come in here on this? Well, Jan, I just got, I was fired from my job. I didn't have a job. Um, no, well, let, me, let me go through this. Your car was booted two months ago? No, that's um, the Nissan. I have my Infinity that was just booted last week. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There were two vehicles here. Yes, two vehicles. Let, with me, let me go through this slowly. <laughs> the first vehicle is a Nissan. I'm just, I just know what I have before me. Correct. It appears that that car was booted, booted a couple of months ago. Correct. And then towed. Correct. It's still in the tow company. Correct. Are you here for that vehicle? No, I'm not. Unfortunately, I, the reason why I got towed and I didn't come in, I was not able to register. I was in the process of registering. I brought it from a dealer off of the internet and something was wrong with the title. That So it looked like three people were on there. I was dealing with Miss Mancini from the DMV. She said, unfortunately, we couldn't get it registered. Oh, you bought registered. a car. Uh, to, use, to use the street language, the car was a gaff. Basically, right. yes. And So uh, all right, they had trouble with the title. You bought it online. You couldn't get it quid. You, all right, I understand all that. So you forfeited that car. Right, I couldn't. The tow, the tow guy's got it, right? He's Right, so, you so said, that's why I didn't. keep it. I don't care about it. Because I can't, um, miss, the DMV said I can't register it. And on the Infinity, you had about 11 tickets, none of which were paid. They were, most of them were overnight parking outside your house. Yes, Your Honor. My landlord, uh, I tried to file for the... Um, to see if I can get the overnight parking ticket. But because we there's six apartments in my house, the landlord had to go down and do something, they said. He finally just did it now. And I lost my job. That's why I didn't come in. I'm just back to work, so now I can take care of the parking tickets and everything. I'm not here to give you an excuse. I'm fully responsible for it and willing to pay. <clears throat> All right, Donna, you're in jeopardy now having the second car towed and forfeited to a tow company. Correct. So what do you want to tell me about these? Did you come prepared to, today to prepare to pay 
pay for the boot to be released? I have right now $300, Your Honor, that I can give, and then I could come back every week and make a payment towards them tickets. <laughs> Your so record hasn't it. been that good. You know that. I know, I know. But you changed. I I have a good job. I lost my job. I got to I'm back to work. I am not losing I'm not going to lose my job. I have no other choice. <laughs> but I will be making the payments, Your Honor. In your defense. In your defense. <laughs> Cuz I really want to be fair with you. Okay. Almost all of these tickets are parking in front of your house overnight. And I have some sympathy for you because of that. Because we have an ordinance in Providence that you cannot park overnight on the streets in Providence. And I know that many, many landlords don't have sufficient number of parking spaces for their tenants, and the tenants have no choice but to park on the street. The original tickets are $835, the original tickets. All right. I'm going to dismiss a number of the tickets on Monticello Street. It's going to cost you a $100 boot fee, $300 for the tickets, and I'm going to release the boot as soon as you pay the $300, which will be today, okay? Okay. You have a $100 balance. You're going to have a $100 balance. Okay. Try to pay that as quick as possible so that you can buy a parking pass so you can park the car in front of your house for a year. Okay, so as soon as you pay the other 100, you'll be eligible to buy a parking pass. Okay, I can pay that next Friday, Your Honor. Thank you so much. Thank Good luck. You. I'm trying to help you to help yourself, so please help yourself. I definitely will. I definitely will be here Friday to pay that $100. <laughs> okay, good Thank luck. Thank you so much. Good luck. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.